so we did these lockdown Zoom sessions. So on a Friday, I'd, I'd have filmed myself or one of the coaches would have filmed themselves. They'd load up the videos with an explanation of what was going to be happening. And because of the demographics we've got in our group where some people haven't got cones, they haven't got footballs or they've got very little, then others have got hurdles, bibs, cones, everything, AstroTurf pitches. We try to pitch it as, well, we'll do it for the ones that haven't got anything. If the ones have got extra, brilliant, they can always do more. But we wanted it to be all inclusive and, and be really engaging for everyone. Um, so we do these then every Saturday as a goalkeeping specific one. Each time is a different theme. So this one's just around footwork and movement and then a little bit on ball at their feet. Uh, sometimes when we did when it's a nicer weather, we've done recovery sessions, we've done high, um, dealing with high balls, et cetera. Um, but they, these have worked really well. You can do little bits of technical stuff with them, but it's more around that engagement side. The technical stuff, if the camera's right, I said Steve the other day, that some boys set it up perfectly, that you can, you can see what's going on, you can give them lots of information, lots of help. Other boys, is, it's popped up against a drinks bottle and there's, there's not much you can, you can see. But it is about more that, well, we've got them on the call, we've got them doing something, because this might be all they do, or they might be doing lots, lots more. So on top of that, we were using Google Classroom. Um, so we were giving them football sessions. So top left-hand corner is just an example, which is three examples of sessions that they could do. And then each week, we'd just load up three more examples of session ideas. It wasn't for them to do specifically. It was if you've got time or you've got the apparatus or you've got uh, people that can help you do so. Or if you haven't, well, can you adapt it? And we just had a theme for each week working through. And then we've just gone around the themes and each time loaded something that's slightly different for them. Um, in that, from there, they've then bottom left-hand corner. They've filmed themselves. So some of the boys have filmed them, loaded them up set challenges for each other. It's been good that the boys then can comment on each other's videos. It's been all really, really positive, which has been, been nice to see. Um, first team goalkeepers, so we had Josh, we had from, some from Sam as well. Just little, uh, little challenges for the boys to do, which was nice of them obviously to send them across, but great for the boys in terms of, oh, the first team boys are doing this. I want to jump on this as well. Um, and then bottom right-hand corner was then different challenges that we set as coaches. So this was all goalkeeping related. But then there was also outfield ones which matched exactly what we were doing. Um, the, the same as what you see here. So they had that as well. And I wanted to give them the outfield stuff as well as the goalkeeping stuff, just so that they had a mix of both. And also I didn't want to pull them away from their team. They need to be also part of that team for the social side as well. And then on the other side for the non-football stuff, so they've had their physical, uh, their physical work. So we've, we've used Strava. It's been logged through Strava. And each week's been a different physical theme, which the sports scientist, Connor, is the set and con has been excellent. Um, top right, we had a QA and a with Sam Johnston. We've had others as well, um, which has been brilliant for the boys just to ask questions. We've allowed the boys to ask the questions. It's for them. It's for their benefit. Um, bottom, bottom left, we've took a lot off YouTube. So Tim Dittman's done a fair few bits for the, for the FA. Just signposting them in that direction. Example, session plans, first team training from other clubs, our club just so they can see, oh, that's what it's like. It might be they think, oh, that's a practice I can, can actually do at home. So that's something that they've gone and done. And then bottom right, we've just done quizzes and, uh, and questionnaires and just to see, you know, have a bit of fun with the boys in terms of, oh, I've got seven out of 10, I've got eight out of 10 across the boys. They've obviously sent questions back just for something different to improve that, say improve, but just to help with that team bonding, if you like, and getting to know somebody better. I think it's helped massively learn more about boys you know, seeing what their environment's like, some you know about, some you don't, uh, what their family situation's like. Um, but yeah, that, that's a brief overview of, of where we've been going as the goalkeeping department as well as outfield as well.